Do you want to grow an online audience and start posting online but you don't know where to start? Well stick around because I'm going to show you five steps to up your creativity and get discovered. Welcome to another episode of Book Club, where I review books that will help you discover your best self and launch your life to the next level. This week, we're discussing an awesome book that will help you get over your fears of creativity and start posting things online so you can grow an audience. If you're trying to grow an audience anywhere or if you're just looking to start writing more or being more creative, this is a book for you and this is a video you don't want to miss out on. As the world keeps turning more digital, it's important now more than ever to start posting your ideas and your creativity online. This is something that I always had a fear about. I always worried, what will people think? Or what if I fail when posting something online? And it wasn't until I read this book, Show Your Work by Austin Kleon, that I got the confidence to keep posting and keep going. This book shares 10 different ways to share your creativity and get discovered. And today, I'm gonna to be talking about five of those lessons. So if you are interested in posting more or starting to build an audience, then this is the video for you, so don't miss out. The first lesson, and probably the most important lesson, is the idea that you don't have to be a genius. Too many people think they have to be an expert or a genius or they have to get certified in something before they're allowed to talk about it in public. When in reality, amateurs tend to be the best people for posting online because amateurs are more likely to try new things or to fail and keep going on. When you're an amateur, you give people something they can connect with. It's hard to connect with somebody who's already an expert. They seem so distant or far off that somebody can't reach that. But when they see you trying things and giving them tips on things that have worked for you as an amateur, that's something other people can connect with and then start to believe that they can do it themselves. So you don't have to be a genius, you just have to start trying things and sharing it. So you can do that by becoming interested in what you wish you had learned before or what you want to learn now. When you become interested in it and you learn something new, share it with other people. This is how you start to grow an audience and true followers who actually want to hear what you have to say. One of the things that stood out to me in this book is a quote that he said, you have to use your voice to find it. So many people want to find their voices, but they're never going to find it unless they start using it. So it's okay to be an amateur. Get out there and run with it. The second rule is to always try and tell good stories or tie your story into your work. Your work doesn't speak for itself. The story behind your work speaks for your work. So for example, if you are making cooking videos, the story behind those cooking videos is what gets people intrigued. So maybe you used to cook with your mother all the time and now you're trying to pass these recipes on. Or maybe you come from a troubled past or had something happen to you in the past and you're trying to improve yourself and you're sharing those things with other people. Whatever it is, you have to tie a story to it so other people get interested. Now the story you share should have three parts. It should have your past or where you came from, your present and where you are right now in your story, and then where you want to go in the future. If you can tie all those three things into your work when you're putting it out there online or sharing with people, people are more likely to be intrigued by it. The human mind loves a good story. So when you're putting stuff out there, make sure you tie your story to it. The third lesson is to teach what you know. We all start out as beginners, we all start from the ground floor, but we slowly start learning new things. A good rule to follow is that if you learn something, immediately share it. If you learn a new tip that helps you out a lot, there's probably somebody else who wants that tip, who could use that tip. So when you learn it and you apply it in your own life, share it with your audience. This gives them the ability to connect more with you because they can see you learning in the process and that makes them feel more comfortable that they can learn as well. This also goes back to the first lesson of you don't have to be a genius. If you are openly telling people you are learning new things and sharing it on your process, 
that gets people involved in trusting you as an amateur, as somebody who's just trying things out and letting other people in on their progress. The more you can let people in, the more likely they're going to stick around and keep seeing how you're growing. And when you keep growing, this gives them the motivation to keep sticking around because they want to see your growth. Now it's turned into a story, which we talked about in the previous lesson. So it's so important to start sharing what you know with others. This is how you build a community. This is how you build an audience that wants to stick around and keep seeing your progress. The next lesson is to learn how to take a punch. This is what Austin Kleon calls becoming a boxer. You've got to be able to dodge punches or dodge criticism that comes your way. When you start to put your work out there and you start to grow an audience, there's always going to be criticism, whether it's from your friends or your family or even strangers online, you are going to face criticism. So it's so important that you're able to take a punch. You have to be like a boxer. You've got to be able to breathe, when people are throwing you criticism, you've got to be able to stay balanced so you're not falling over. You've got to be able to take a punch and roll with punches so when you get that criticism, don't get too offended. Keep going. Keep fighting. The more you can be like a boxer, the more you can take that criticism and keep pushing on. Another good rule with criticism, and this is important in all areas of life, is to only take criticism from people who are trying to improve your work. There's always going to be haters out there who are going to be mad at anything you put out. But sometimes you'll get some criticism that actually will make you improve. Those are the people you need to listen to because they want your best interest. And the biggest thing to remember is that our biggest critic is the one that lives in our own head. It's that little voice of doubt who gets on us too hard when we make a mistake or things don't go right. So you've got to be able to dodge critics in the real world as well as in your head. And the last lesson is probably the most important. It's simply to just stick around. The most successful people in any area of life are typically the ones who have just stuck around the longest. When you're first starting off, things are going to be very slow. You're not going to see a lot of progress and that can be frustrating. But if you're truly passionate and you truly enjoy what you're doing and creating and putting things out there, then you just have to keep going. Eventually, if you keep going, you're going to see that progress. It may take a year, it may take two years, it may take 10 years. We all know a famous actor or artist who stuck with it long enough to finally hit that big break. The thing with creativity and putting things out there is you're doing it because it brings you joy. So that process of sticking with it shouldn't be frustrating because you're not aiming to just build an audience, you're aiming to provide value and better your creativity. So if you want to keep growing, if you want to keep going, you just have to stick around. Those are five lessons from Austin Kleon's Show Your Work. This is a book that I will always recommend to anybody who's trying to put their self out there and create in public. As the world keeps changing, it's so important to start getting online and start putting your ideas out there and building a catalog of your creativity. This will be the future of resumes, of finding jobs, of building an audience. So it's so important to get started today. And if you can use these five lessons from this book, you are going to be on a great path forward. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube page, hit that like button, and share this with anybody who may be struggling with their creative process. I'm going to keep these videos coming out, so please join me. You don't want to miss out on some of the books I'm discussing.